I'm they are both there for one another. Right. She goes, he I'm goes, and vice versa. He's the most phony relationship I've ever experienced. You're a grown ass man, bro. What's wrong with him? This boy has no validation when he's walking away and everyone has to sat here. He's a grown man. Don't tell me I've got no validation. You know, f all, f you. Thomas, don't do it. Yeah. Thomas, don't, no, no, don't start that with me, Thomas. Thomas, I'm the f***ing guy to start uh, right? I'm not scared no, of you, honey. You want it. I'm the wrong guy to want it with Thomas. Yeah, that's why you're walking away. You can hear me, Thomas. No, f*** this man. I'm too kind high. I'm too good a person. I've got to be it, talking like that, man. F*** that. You're pressing the f***ing button, Thomas. Go off. The irony of the consolation, though. <laughs> the irony. What's going on here? You know, seeing Matt and Duca hugging and playing pals. Just seems strange. The irony to be consoled by the man who's taken his woman. Everybody knows that something between Matt and Whitney was going on. I feel like I just spoke what was on everyone's lips, really. What did he say? I said he's being consoled by the man who's taken his woman. Oh. Should have known by now, though, innit? Let's just get it out in the open. It's been pure whispers, so let's lay it all out. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. Gem? Yeah. Can we? What? Well, let's talk. What is going on? Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Part of me is shocked that Whitney has got feelings to Matt. It does feel like a bit of a slap in the face. And it just shows a lack of character. It sh shows a lack of morals. There's a lot of whispers in it, so let's yeah. just talk I'm it out. I'm not taking anyone's woman. I'm not a Gucci bag. Exactly. I'm not a commodity. I'm going where I want to go. I need to go. Just sit at this table and have a yeah. stupid conversation. So I'm going to go. Right, so serious chat. You know full well that we ain't right for each other. Since we've been in here, something's brewing between me and Whitney. There's been like a lot of eye contact. There's been a lot of little bits and bats. Um, I actually do care about you. And I actually do want you to be happy. So I'm not doing this to hurt you. I'm doing this. There's something going on with you and Whitney then? There's nothing happened between me and Whitney, no, but it's something I want to explore. I feel like a Idiot. Everyone else knew apart from me. You know what really hurt me yesterday? The fact that I had to find that out through a task. And the fact that I've had to ask myself questions. And I've had to think about the times I've seen you both sat having dinner. Do you know what? You never tried with me. You never gave me a chance. You wrote it off on day two. That hurts. This is why you never tried with me, though. No, it's really not. You've taken my confidence from here to here. You have. I feel I used. used. I feel used. Do you know I, what really I, hurt I, me? No, no, do you know no, what no, I let said? Me talk. Can my I... turn to talk for once. Don't shout no, at me, mate. Who are you my talking turn to talk for once. You're you just coming to me with that information that you like someone else. Let me talk for Go on. once. Go on, Jen. I'm upset. I understand my emotions that. Are but I also want to be able to talk to you. There's nothing more to say. Whatever you need. Whatever you need, mate. Off. Whatever you need. Oh, well, look, Whitney's nowhere to be seen. You're a joke. All you should right, be ashamed mate. of yourself. F you. You're And that is why we didn't work out.